So now we want to abstract away from the programming and see the mathematical point of view on working with the modulus. So if I take the number 2 modulo 9, it's 2, right? 2 can't be divided by 9, so the remainder is 9. Well, that's actually the same as if I take those two large numbers summed up modulo 9. It's also 2. So, hmm. Okay, so there's not one solution, right? So, 2 modulo 9 is the same as this modulo 9. Well, 2 plus 9 turns out is also the same. 2 plus 18 modulo 9 is also the same, it's also 2. So, here I want to introduce a concept called residual classes, or sometimes called remainder class. So, it turns out, when we have an equation like this, when you have an equation like this, we can't really solve for x, right? Because every number of the form 2 plus a multiple of 9, and 9 is the modulus, is a valid solution, right? We have seen 2 mod 9 is the same as 2 plus 9 mod 9, it's the same as 2 plus 18 mod 9, which makes sense because we take this number and divide it by 9 and then look at the remainder. And if these here are multiples of 9, of course this is the remainder. So, actually this this equation here doesn't have one solution, it actually has infinitely many solutions of this form. But what is the correct solution then? So here I made a number line, so you can see the multiples of 9, 0, 0, 9, 18, and the possible solutions, which is 2, 11, 20, just everything that's 2 away from a multiple of 9. Well, here the mathematical notation kicks in and the mathematical concepts. So, when we write it, this kind of equation, modulo a number, we don't actually write the left side is equal to the right side. You write those three fancy strokes and then we say these two sides are equivalent or congruent. That means this here is a solution, but it's actually not one solution, it's many solutions of this form. So for x a valid solution would be 2, 11, 20, and so on, and so on. So, another form of notation is here we could write not 2, because 2 is not the only solution, but we could write 2 with a small stroke on top. That's a common notation for something called a residual class. So, residual class means this number here, the 2, is not actually a 2, but it's a class of number, namely all numbers that are of the form 2 plus a multiple of the modulus. Why is that? Because we could just exchange them. They're equivalent regarding this modulus. So it doesn't matter if it says 2 here or 11 or 20, they're all equivalent, equivalently valid solutions. So, this is another notation here. So, we can say this um, calculation here, this sum, is equivalent to 2. It's not 2, because it could also be 11 or 20, but it's equivalent to 2. So that means it's equivalent.
equivalent to all numbers that are true plus a multiple of the modulus. So if we do this in Python, you can see, okay, true is a valid solution, true plus nine, 11 is a valid solution, true plus 18 is a valid solution. All numbers that are a multiple of nine plus two are valid solutions. And we say that mathemati mathematically um, with this equivalent sign. 